we went to do in Ileife. But the scam and the scam and the scammer and the rest of them are boboing themselves. You should never be caught up in those uh, lies. I was reading the internet, or should I say I was uh, doing my usual, surfing the net. And then I came across uh, this. Let me see if I have the image still. One sec, eh? I don't know many of you have seen it as well. I'm talking about this. NNPC energy for today, blah, 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 for tomorrow. Lies and lies, Lori Raw. Okay, if I have anything to say uh, to, to us here tonight, it is to, uh, I mean, to, to see if I could help uh, on, you know, sort of, uh, you know, explain the fraud. They said they are now commercializing NNPC. Sure you get. But here is the background. Do you know that uh, NNPC in Nigeria, yeah, under Boko Hari, are yet to remit over $15 billion, which could have been the accrued Revenue from the sale of crude oil between 2019 and 2020. Yeah, they haven't remitted that. Unaccounted for. Do you also know that this same NNPC, yeah, hasn't remitted a dime into Nigeria's cover, even though Nigeria has been selling crude oil since January 2022? This is a fact, and you are free. To counter it, right? Now, that, uh, and this same NNPC is the same NNPC that APC, Egbek Egbek said, they were going to use to revive all of your refineries. Now, ladies and gentlemen, today, do you also know that uh, today, they are now borrowing money to pay the staff of NNPC, including uh, refineries that they said they are starting in Kaduna, Kaduna no get oil. Niger Delta, where the Niger, Nigeria oil is uh, situated or located. Now, the plan of the NNPC APC in seven years is to go to the foreign uh, uh, lenders, right, and borrow $6.8 billion to start a pipeline project that is going to be laid from Niger Delta region of Nigeria to the desert across the Sahel, straight into Niger Republic, into a refinery there, that will then refine Nigeria crude oil and bring it back to Nigeria as a refined crude. Now, I'm telling you the background of this uh, new fraud so that you will know that when you have to tell people that this is fraud, it is not because you don't wish anything good for Nigeria. These guys don't wish anything better for you. You are not seeing it, but you love the camera, you love the picture, and you love all the nice words. Uh, development, we are going to develop this and that and that, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, this is the vision. This is the great thing. You are being scammed, and you are so blinded by it that when the whole thing can't come back, you can come the pretend say, you are surprised. Why are you surprised? Right? Now, what they are doing right now is that they said they are going private. Oh, this is the fraud. Oh, okay? The NNPC in Nigeria yeah, has been in charge of importing your fuel to Nigeria. Okay? Which means the NNPC in Nigeria that cannot maintain your refineries in Nigeria would said they are waiting for Dangote refineries Ram, if Dangote refinery, they are in charge of importation of fuel to Nigeria. Now, this is where it becomes juicy and interesting. The same NNPC is in charge of selling your crude oil. So they are the ones to tell you how many crude oil they sold, how much they collected, and all of that. All this figure, everything are pretty much unverifiable. It is whatever they tell you. Okay, so because they can tell you that, yeah, the barrel of crude oil is now $113 per barrel. But do you understand that we are also paying subsidy to make sure that you are buying fuel at 
69 naira per liter. This is where the fraud is now interesting. Oh. NNPC will tell you they don't import fuel. There are private marketers, they are friends, eh, who are given the licenses to import the fuel. So when they bring the fuel in, it is NNPC that will pay the difference between the landing cost. If not, you'll be buying a, a liter of fuel in Nigeria for maybe 800 naira per liter or 700 naira per liter. Depends on whatever the market feels. That is the concept, Abi. The regulation lies. When you deregulate, then why are you paying subsidy to the marketers who can go to anywhere and bring the fuel? Abi, should be your own is to now use your money for something else. Remember, they are the ones who are selling your crude oil. They are the ones who are supposed to collect the money from the sale. They are supposed to give the money back to you and say, we sold crude oil, this is the money. But because they have to pay their friends who they said are going to be bringing the fuel since they can't maintain or they can't have refineries that work. Are you following? The scam, Abby. Now, after all those enterprises, right? They say, oh, we want to go private. We want to commercialize. We want to make sure that it is profitable. The question is, why is it not profitable before? Eh? Because it shouldn't be. If it's profitable, it is for them. Right? Now, they now brought uh, this idea of, we are going to bring a new committee, new this and that, blah, 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 blah. And all Nigerians can buy the shares in NNPC. So NNPC now yeah, can then invest in refineries. NNPC now can then invest in uh, development of the uh, uh, you know, petroleum industry. And they, they can make it profitable. Maybe that's what they told you. But do you know something? Eh? This new NNPC, yeah? who is supposed to be a private one, as they claim, right, is still pretty much uh, going to rely on deciding how much you are going to buy a liter of fuel. Now, that's the confusion, Abi. It is not confusion. Now, you they get confused because they are, they, are, they are scamming you. You should sit through it. Everything goes back to them. They, they are going to say, listen, oh, and they have said it already. I don't know if I still have that image. Let me see if I still have it. And if I don't, I'll probably just uh, explain it uh, to you. Uh, give me a sec. Right. I don't uh, have the image. Uh, name. Oh, hang on. Could that be it? Uh, no, it's not. There is this image they released. That image, after this propaganda, yeah? That image is what is going to be the the price of liter of fuel, okay? And by so doing, they can they are still retaining subsidy. Subsidy are retaining means that uh, it is this the same business as usual, but different. Hysteric, or what is it they call it? Because now scam job. How many of you remember? Uh, where is that? Uh, one sec. How many of you remember this? Not long ago, when they said that uh, they are going to revive the Naira after they ruined and destroyed the Naira through the what you call what we call one moment, right? So, uh, in uh, what they said, they will save the Naira from uh, further collapsing. That's the lie they told you. But the truth is that uh, every time they go out there borrowing, what they bring back to you is more sorrows because the conditions they give to them is to go ahead and devalue your Naira even further. To further create stringent economy that will further, you know, strangulate businesses, kill businesses, and then uh, kill jobs. It is not a rocket science. But they said they are bringing in Naira. In Naira. You remember? And I, I think at that time, I remember telling everybody then that uh, there is nothing called Inaira. Now, Inaira, they were bringing. Their target then was to see if they could stop so many, so many of us uh, living abroad because of our remittances that we sent back to Nigeria. They know that uh, every year, right, uh, the Western, I mean, sorry, the Southern Nigerians who live outside Nigeria who make most uh, remittances back to Nigeria, 
we we remit uh, more than listen to this so uh, more than 30 billion dollars now that is quite equivalent to what uh, Nigeria has been accumulating and borrowing and devaluing their naira devaluing their economy devaluing their currency for peanuts eh a whole country that is what us many many of us are living abroad who have been uh, in you know saving nigeria subsidizing nigeria for years even though your politicians are busy looting you so it didn't fly because they thought we would be sending our money to nigeria through this so that the central bank of nigeria of emifioli they can be taking a cut and with that they can control the forex that comes in every now and then if uh, a fraction of that money goes through them in this regard yeah uh, is going to possibly help them in a way to go back to their lenders and say, listen, we have so much uh, bust. I mean, you know, our economy is working so well. Look at this amount of uh, Forex we have access to from our Nigerians living abroad. So at the end of the day, instead of Naira to fly, now crash it, they crash you. Oh. Give me a sec. Instead of Naira to fly, right? Now crash, it they, it they crash. And that will take me to this, right? On the issue of this NNPC fraud, okay? It's for themselves. These are the prices they are going to be giving to you uh, in the coming days now. Some people are already, some people said they are already paying it. It's not a new thing, Jarema Yugun. You have, uh, we've already started paying all of this. So what we just want is that uh, they should make it available. The point is, as you are paying this, so many other rogues are smiling to the bank. They are being paid huge amount of uh, your money. This is not money that is even available. We are talking about uh, money that uh, they are they are borrowing and they are devaluing your currency for. You will lose your job, you will lose your businesses, and you'll be asking yourselves like, uh, why, how, what happened? So this will be your new prices in the coming days as they have decided on them and your subsidy in 2022 alone, yeah. In 2022 alone, Nigeria paid or Nigeria said they are going to be paying over four trillion naira. Now, see through this scam again, please. In 2016, I mean, so in 2015, when these uh, criminals came to power in Nigeria, before they maneuver, before they entrenched this poverty that you are witnessing today, their first move then was that they were removing their subsidy because if they didn't remove subsidy, all right, it is going to cripple Nigeria. Nigeria was paying about 800 billion. Well. With good luck, Igbere Jolantan. Good luck, Igbere Jolantan was paying about uh, 400 billion, 300 billion a year, 500 billion a year. And even until 2014, when he paid uh, nearly 800 billion a year for subsidies so that you could buy petrol for 87 naira per liter. Remember, when this APC, Igbe Kegbe, came in, right, seven years ago, they said that subsidy is unsustainable. It is not sustainable. There's no country that will survive using, the, using 30% of uh, their budget right their national budget to fund of uh, to pay few individuals to bring uh, petrol to nigeria so they removed it your petrol jumped from how much 87 naira per liter to 145 naira per liter right and since then yeah the payment of subsidy never stopped it increased 2016 they removed subsidy subsidy bill from uh, 800 billion in 2016 and um, 2015 jumped to 1.2 trillion in 2016, 1.3 trillion in 2017, 1.4 trillion in 2018, 1.4 trillion in 2019, 1.4 trillion in 2020. Guess what? In 2021, 2.1 trillion error. And in 2022, they have now like pretty much like we're going to cash out big time. Their budget for subsidy alone is 4 trillion error. So the bobo they are selling to those who claim to be educated today is that uh, to make it work, right? They need to remove subsidy, but they haven't. They were still going to be telling you what the price of the petrol would be, something that is already out there. But all about the money your own uh, system, who doesn't have, that goes into the hand of the rogues, who also, in the end, indirectly fund terrorism. Now, I'm trying to remind you some of these uh, lies and why you should never buy into their lies. How many of you remember Nigeria here and all the Ulabalu that followed it at the time is still very much. Do you know that this is the this is the fourth year anniversary. If they had delivered this lie instead of the image and all these things that they told you 
I'm, I'm exposing the reasons why Nigeria became what Nigeria is today. And the rogues and criminals who did all of this to you, they are so confident to do more. And guess what? In all of this, there are casualties, economic destructions, job losses, and then uh, frustration that has also increased the crime all over Nigeria today. How many of you remember this? Yeah? This is Nigeria here. I bet many of you actually uh, got into so many fights with some of these uh, Buari Dins, Buari Dins. The Buari Dinotos, the Buari Dijatus, the Buari Shukus, the Ungo Ziaris, the Une Kaaris, the obedient fools, the sophisticated morons, and the humble slaves of this world, the social media bandits, the Facebook adsmen, the cyber barbarians, and then their uncles and aunties abroad. I'm talking about uh, the Mumu Madus, the Bele lecturers, the Mumu lecturers. I told you back then that uh, some of them engaged you and they called you haters of Nigeria. Do you all know that uh, this image alone, that year, eh, cost Nigeria over, uh, what, uh, what is it called, over 4 billion era. This image you are looking at today, 4 billion era, it cost Nigeria to design this image from one country that is not even in Nigeria. Nigeria here, Nigeria here. Eh? They were saying that uh, you are enemies of Nigeria if you don't believe in this. Sense of integrity, they called it. They cashed out, and this old charade cost Nigeria 12.5 billion naira that year. Yes, including the publicity that prompted this show off in London that year. This is the fourth year anniversary. Many, many of the Buari idiots, maybe they are still waiting at the airport. For the arrival of all these aircraft two years after this uh, after this fraud was launched yeah for 2019 election you know what they did they said they were looking for those uh, private uh, airlines all over the world to come and buy the license from them in fact they were plotting them to bring in going 737 have been a 747 have been a 777 so that they will they will show off that uh, look at here nigeria they will print the Air Nigeria logo on those planes, right? But the deal fell through. It didn't work out because probably those people felt like, come on, we are not gonna, we are not gonna trade off our image for this charade, this nonsense. A company in Turkey, airline in Turkey, was ready to participate in that charade in 2019. It didn't, it didn't happen. But today, the Buari idiots, the cyber barbarians, the obedient fools, the sophisticated morons who fought you. Who called you enemy of Nigeria when you told them that this was a lie four years ago? Some of them are telling you today that you are enemy of Nigeria for not believing Tifnumbu, for, for not believing in their other lies and, 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 and other, 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 other propagandas they're going to pull. They are fighting you. Now, if you are telling them about uh, this NNPC nonsense, they're going to call you enemy of Nigeria simply because you can see through the lie. Now, you are also speaking from experiences, right? These are shameless people who have no real shame, for real. In real life, they don't have any shame. But their shamelessness is actually costing lives. It's making life a hell, even for themselves. But since it is what they have chosen, and somehow, somehow, they love to blame other people for their own, uh, for their own uh, selfishness, so to say. It is always good to remind them if they bring any lie and you say you don't believe in it and they call you names, enemy of Nigeria, enemy of progress. Hey, what do you want us to do? Don't listen to them. Don't get blackmailed. In fact, hold the facts on your, I mean, in your hands and be bold enough to call their bluff. Even when they begin to throw their religious blackmail, their ethnic tribal blackmail, just know at the back of your mind, even if you are one of them supporting them. I'm telling you this uh, honest uh, truth because even you know that uh, whatever it is, it's not in your own best interest. It is not, it is never in your interest. It will never be in your interest. And guess what? When all those things, all those, your decisions come back haunting you, right? You are not going to be spared. You are an awaiting victim of your choices. Choose your bad nation because I decided to go back to. To the root, uh, to the roots, which is our roots, Ileife.
On Mayagun's diary political, we don't just talk. We encourage people to hold their belief strong and stand up, be steadfast. Don't be blackmailed. Don't let whatever is happening right now in Nigeria get you so much uh, uh, discouraged or distracted. The danger we are living in is still real. And no amount of a political talk, uh, no amount of a sweet talk, unity talk as they call it, that will make it uh, go away. Especially when we know that uh, there are living victims. In Yoruba land, we are suffering this. And when we talk about uh, this, oh, uh, 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 how much Nigeria is affecting us and how much you as a Yoruba man should begin to drop that toga of you love Nigeria, you love Nigeria. You don't love Nigeria. Uh, you know, if you are honest to yourselves, right? You don't love Nigeria by encouraging it to remain as it is now. Guess what? The local people are not really amused. And that is why on my diary political, we have decided to stop, uh, well, not to stop talking, but to go further. On this platform, we have uh, funded, we have sponsored so many, many uh, investigation uh, trip down to Yoruba land. Some of the information we have uh, brought back, some of them are not what can be publicly shared. But guess what? Some of them too are good to be shared in the public so that uh, when people tell their stories themselves, it kind of eats differently. If you're a Yoruba man, and you're watching me right now, a member of Mayugun's Diary Politico, a core Yoruba man, a freedom lover, even if you're not a Yoruba, this is one of the projects that uh, we funded on Mayugun's Diary Politico. It cost us a lot, but we are good. We are happy that the result eh, is so tremendous. It's so great. The ones I can share with you, hearing from our people who are suffering from what Tifnumbu we never talk about. So if you see Yorubas who says that uh, they don't believe in Tifnumbu, even those who say they believe in them because they have no idea the, damage, the, the damages they have done and the cover-up as well that uh, they have done in the name of one Nigeria and the reward they are waiting for. Maybe clips like this or the intention of Mayagun's uh, diary political and the members of the Temple of Truth, the Yorubas here, is to let Yorubas, even if you are not living in Nigeria, to understand the, the, the danger around and why the likes of Tifnubu will make it even worse for us by telling us to ignore all of this and just shout one Nigeria. Let me take you to Ile Ife. I'm going to take a few pictures. But if you are a member of Mayugun's Diary Political, if there's a moment you should be proud of uh, what we've been talking about and what we intend to do and how we intend to do what we intend to do and for you to have an idea of, uh, oh, I think this is what it is. We will have to take over uh, the entire conversation and doing so with our resources. Things like this, right, will become not what people will just say on camera here. It's something that people will say boldly and publicly in Yoruba land. Again, let's go back to Ileife, a trip that uh, I am glad to share with you this evening. It's a long one. Sit back, relax, and listen to their stories. The reason why Yorubas will demand for Yoruba nation, the reasons why the genuine Wamalua bees the genuine Yoruba sons and daughters, when they know the truth, when they see it as it is, right, they will stand up, yeah, and they will defend, not just defend Yoruba land, they will free Yoruba land from the bogus lies of self-serving individuals who have kept us under this perpetual fear. It will not be in perpetuity anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, from Ilefe. <music> Ileife was an ancient African city which flourished between the 11th and 15th century CE in what is today Nigeria in West Africa. Ife was the capital and principal religious center of the Yoruba kingdom. Ileife is well known as a city of 401 deities, also known as Irumole or Odisha. It is said that every day of the year 
the traditional worshiper celebrates a festival of one of the deities. The festival extends over more than one day and they involve both priestly activities in the palace. Oromiya staff play a role in the installation of a new orni of Ife. Since the staff an embodiment of not just the spirit of Oromiya but of all other orni that had ruled the Lefe. Bia Basili na Joto, mwa Basili ni Lefe para. Oba kanti wa lori ni ni Lefe, oba yeye oni oni kano, to to jeni ni Lefe, hamku oba yeye ni oba lufa alaye more. Ile na Joto, si ba bani to tia si alaye more oba yeye to ngo kwa ba bamboni. Eruba, bah, si Romania boleh jadi lolo lolo, na, kau kusi betul lor. Untuk yang wajib lewe, ah, untuk bawa apa bawa? Boleh bawa kau wujud, bah, biar banyak sih fiali fasi leh ni. Obat yang lolo te, efan, alaiji, do, efan alaiji ni, lomua. Romania wajib jauh kuli leh lefa, tu je, oh ni kefa. Dalam masa itu, bapa, oh loka kiri abini fe. O loka kiri agbaye, kuto wa joban fe. Ili fe lolo ntu ni kuto farik barosi. Kuto tibu to gunle to. Kuto tibu ekpe le wato bi wibi in zera zera. Bogo tibu ba ma selesi ya dalaji laji ilajeta dema ni. Ona tomat begwa kuto tibu la be akusho olono ili du mari. Suma ba be wa sofu ni jo kambi pe aima o. Ona jole dini ba kuba kono. Si ben, il y a un adon de filet, mais il y a un filet. 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 Si ben, il y a un filet. 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 Okwa ni tebawa wow wow baba wajibini jibini baadhi ya kum oni lisa baadhi ya tuwa baba aibu anafu kwa kanti le boka ni amoma inana uduani okwa asia uduani adi toji adi seba tu tuniwa tebita baadhi wa baadhi wa maadhi kwa amba baadhi ni kuto kwa wazi wa fimu fili ya wanle wakaa kile yoka kila kila zokuwe amo aya temu kwa nuko kuko oni ma mboleti ni machine oni ma pasha tunlunta. Nous voulons la machine, ok. Qui n'est pas devenu la tête à la force entière. Donc, nous avons dit qu'on a 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 dit of uh, what they are saying, just for anyone who uh, doesn't really understand the Yoruba. But there is more, because we spoke to, you know, we spoke with a lot of people there, you know, people who are supposed to be in the know. Those who are like uh, leaders, elders, including Oba, in these areas that have been witnessing this influx. And according to them, listen to this again. Like I said, it is a report. We paid for this. If you want to watch uh, the full clip, is right there on Mayegun's Diary Political. You see it there. You can watch the whole full clip because I'm going to take calls now. So the bottom line is that uh, we are not just talking. I am somebody who believes that we should be documenting all of these atrocities without having to lose them on these political exigencies and all those things that are currently distracting people because a lot of things are happening and these are documentable stuffs that we should document them. We've heard about them, we speak with people, we take pictures, we keep record of all this. And when time comes for us to begin to support our people, which is a time that is going to come in a very, very short time now, especially with some of the reports I have been given myself, Seriously, I can tell you our people need help. 
Now, for politics, they can put that behind and then until you become a victim. But some of us know that. Eventually, yeah? It is like kicking the can down the road. And who knows if many of us are going to make it uh, through until they meet their Waterloo, these uh, political rogues. And then they can turn around and say, well, 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 we can see that uh, what is going on in Yoruba land is not good. Now that they've got nothing to lose when they lose this. Or we're going to be there locked into their jihadism for another what? Another eight years. So if you want to make any difference, this is how you do it. In my own way, you know, if I want to fight, I don't like fighting in the dark. You know what they call shadow boxing. But with good resources, with good uh, resources, right? You can get the right people, personnel, that will do a lot of uh, uh, you know, background uh, work for you that will make it easier. That if you want to say, I want to support our people in Ilefe, I know those to talk to now. Do you know that? Oh, we need to support our people in Yewa. Do you know that I, I know those to talk to now? I'm talking about those who have been fighting it in their own small way or big way. But somehow, somehow, they have been, uh, they continually to get uh, incapacitated by the system that will try to kill them for even standing up. So, in my own way, without having to just speak into the crowd, like, you know, into the, into the, into the here, we will deal with them. We are going to, sh no, 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 no. It's good to say that, by the way, very good. But I kind of believe so much in uh, collecting information, collecting data, raw data, work with them. When the resources is available, you make them available for the right people who are going to de deliver the right results. And that's exactly what uh, the Yoruba Union, which we are going to launch uh, by the 1st of August, uh, 2022, that is what is going to address. Things like this are so important, right? You can't do or fight anything if you don't have the dependable, reliable data. And at the same time, the willing, ready, uh, you know, volunteers, people who are ready to say, we are already doing it. It's just that we don't get any support. Now, that is uh, my own uh, eating workbook. I'm going to open the line tonight so that I can take a few calls. But the way we do it here, we'll take a break. So I have uh, my friends on YouTube who, you know, YouTube itself is currently slowing us down as well so don't be surprised so if we have a number of uh, us here tonight i want to appreciate every one of you okay and you too can be part of this too if this is your first time of uh, watching my ego maybe not your first time but you probably never subscribed on my ego's diary political you can now if you want to and also if you have been with me all this while before we take uh, calls right i'm going to take a break you can take a break as well then you can like the broadcast like it share it if you haven't right and when i get back i will begin to take calls contributions of uh, my people and mind you if tonight let me give you this update before i go by the way so important right the last time we had a chat about uh, what are we going to do uh especially going forward publicity and get our uh you know get uh, our legal framework for uh the yoruba union uh, sorted as soon as possible so that we can just get it started yes as I speak to you right now, the guys are busy now I mean, designing what the billboards are going to look like. Okay? So when they finish with the design, I'll share that with uh, you briefly. Now we'll send it to the printers who are going to make that happen. Okay? And at the same time, before I do that, I will let you know what is it going to cost us. Uh, on this platform, I will never come here to come and say, I just have this new idea. Can we do something like this? Oh, you need to, you need to, you know, we need to get uh, some money for that. I am not like that. You know that, right? You all agree that uh, we should. Should I say all? Well, maybe majority of us agreed that uh, we shouldn't uh, keep uh, quiet. With what we've done in the last uh, three months, it is quite um, you know, unacceptable that uh, we are no longer out there. So if we want to be out there, if we want to increase our publicity, that simply means that uh, we are going to spend money. That's not my money only. It includes your money. So if that requires us to raise more funds to be able to fulfill that, you're not giving me the money. You're not giving the money to my ego. You know that. Now, if you all agree that uh, we need to do more publicity in that regard, then we will need to raise more money. But it's up to you. I'll take a few calls when I get back. And then we can all sort that out tonight uh, before 
we call it a night. So thank you very much. Um, don't go anywhere. Okay. Like the broadcast, share it, pick up your phone, try it out a WhatsApp call. You may be speaking to me next. I'll be back. Hey, hey, hey.